Right, let's go back up to Bethel for a moment. Let's describe the living situation there. When you, when you were very young, you were first there. Yes. All right. Which house did you have, or did, can you describe the house that you were living in? The first house was a single wide trailer. Single wide trailer. All right. And how long did you live there? Until what age about? Lived in that one. I don't really know how to answer this one because it's like a that house was like morphed into another house. Okay, let's talk about before it was morphed. Um ninety seven ish. Okay, so how old were you about? From time, from a little into 92, early 93 to 97-ish. All right, so in 97, you would have been about six years old? Somewhere in there. All right, what happened when you were six years old? To uh, my mother tried to burn the house down that failed because she didn't know what she was doing in the beginning. All right, explain. Uh, the, if there's no air, it smothers out, and she had everything closed up in the beginning. So just the kitchen, living room area burnt. And your mother set that on fire? She had my father set it on fire, but it was her plan, and she's the one who taught my father how to do it. All right. And you remember this when you were six or seven years yes. old? And what did you think about that when you were a kid? I really had no input on it. Okay. So she tried to burn it, but it didn't completely burn? Is that right. what you're saying? And my grandmother paid to remodel it because my mother told her it was an accidental fire. Your mother told your grandmother yes. it was an accidental fire? Which grandmother do we need? Frederica. And that's your grandma wife? Yes. That lives on the flying hill? Yes. Okay. So she lied to her so she could get it rebuilt? The inside redone with new sheetrock. Okay. And so is that when you say it morphed into a second house? Then they added a uh, another single wide to it and made it kind of like a giant L. Okay. And did that, was that in the same location or yes. did, was it moved? It was just added on the same location. All right. And how long did you live there approximately? Roughly 2,000 before they burnt that one. All right. And in 2,000, you were about nine years old? Roughly. All right. And what do you mean they burned that one? Uh, they burned that one down and succeeded with that one. Who's they? My father and my mother. And how did they burn it? Same method as always. A whole bunch of newspapers stuck underneath the fuse box. And so... Where would you live after it burned? Um, after that one burned, um, my grandmother bought a bought my mom and dad a new single white house trailer. Right. And where was that place? The same spot it was. On Bethel Hill? Yes. All right. So at this point in time, when you're nine years old approximately, your first two homes have been burned by your mom and dad? Yes. And so what happened with this? this home that you got now? Uh, stayed in it for about a year before my father extended the driveway and moved it back another half mile. All right, so let's talk about that for a minute. From, from Bethel Hill Road back to where your first home was? Half a mile. Half a mile. All right, and then when you got this other home after two fires, where was that place? A half a mile further back, made the driveway a mile. All right, so he extended the driveway back up Bethel Hill? Yes. Up the hill, I should say? Yes. And so that was the location for your third home? Yes. Well, it started with the, the trailer, and then that trailer got morphed. They got morphed? Yes. What do you mean by that? Added on to. All right, explain that. Um, my father and mother eventually added sides down each side of it and more rooms and turned it into one giant wonder mansion. I called it a Kentucky Wonder Mansion. All right, describe it the best you can. Uh, the... If you're looking at what would have been referred to as the front of it, there's a 12 foot wide by 80 foot long add-on room down one side, and then a 10 foot wide by 80 foot down the other side. 